My friends at Easy Cater are workplace catering pros, helping you find food for everything from daily employee meals to staff meetings and special events. Visit easycater.com slash leader assistant to find out more. Hi, I'm Crystal Esquivel, and today's leadership quote is, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another, from Charles Dickens. Hi, I'm Alessandra Thomas, and today's leadership quote is, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. The Leader Assistant Podcast exists to encourage and challenge assistants to become confident, game-changing leader assistants. Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to episode 139. You can check out the show notes at leaderassistant.com slash 139. Before we jump into today's interview, just wanted to encourage you to check out our upcoming live events. Some of them are online live and some of them are live in person. Uh, leaderassistantlive.com to check out the full schedule of events for game-changing leader assistants like yourself, uh, professional development, training, and networking with executive assistants, chiefs of staff, administrative assistants, executive business partners, whatever your title is. Um, If you are a growth-minded leader assistant, we would love to have you join us at an upcoming event. So check out leaderassistantlive.com for the event schedule, and we will see you at a Leader Assistant Live event soon. Hey, friends. Thanks for tuning in to the Leader Assistant Podcast. It's your host, Jeremy Burrows. And today I'm very excited to be speaking with Crystal Esquivel and Alessandra Thomas. They are the co-founders of Cleverly, a work style newsletter for executive assistants, administrative assistants, and all the assistant leader assistants in the world. How's it going, Crystal and Alessandra? Doing great. Thanks so much for having us. So let's start with Crystal. So Crystal, first, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Good to be back. Uh, Can you catch us up on what's happened since episode 12? I can't believe it was episode 12. We're on uh, in the hundreds now. and (laughs) You're on episode 12. (laughs) <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, so basically the pandemic happened and um, I was working at a software company before um, uh, with software for executive assistants. And as the pandemic hit, there were cuts made and my position was cut. So it was pretty bad timing, um, you know, to be without health insurance or a job. But uh, thankfully, I have an amazing husband that helped me pull through it and really great friends. Um I got some, picked up some EA clients from an agency that I worked with before, and those clients turned out to be really awesome, and we now work directly together. So um, now I have an EA client that I've had for almost seven years now, Um, and I'm also executive producer of another podcast called Outlier Academy, so kind of moving from one end to the other of EA and executive producer, and then co-founding Cleverly. So Definitely has been up ups and downs, but it's all ups at the moment, and I'm just really grateful to be here. That's awesome. Well, what uh, what can you tell us about the podcast that you're part of? So it is um, okay. It's called Outlier Academy. It is hosted by Daniel Scrivener, who is he's been CEO, a designer, an investor. He's done a little bit of everything, and he interviews. Um, other investors, founders, and just you know people who can give masterclass interviews on deep subjects. So there's a lot that I've learned about investing over the last year that I had no idea about before. Um, but the part that I do is basically all of the operations. So it's been just me and Daniel for um, a year now, I guess. And we just now hired like a social media person and a designer and an assistant and um, yeah, so it's, it's growing. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a weekly podcast and it's going to grow into some membership and products and other things as well. Nice. So do you think, uh, did you kind of get that, uh, opportunity through your remote executive assistant work? 
Yeah. Yeah. It started with Daniel needing, well, he wasn't sure what he needed, I think. And so <laughs> he kind of was like, maybe I need EA help. And then it turned into, um, how about this one project? And I think once he saw what I could do, um, was beyond just EA work, he kind of was like, okay, let's do something different. You know, here's this podcast I want to run. Can you create it and do it? So, um, and it turned out like it's, it's so much fun. It's a lot of what, and EA does anyway, but, um, you know, it's just project management, almost like event management. So, um, yeah. Awesome. I love hearing stories about EAs, uh, kind of stepping in and taking yeah. other roles because they can, <laughs> they can yeah. do anything. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, Alessandra, uh, thanks for joining us. What part of the world are you in today? So I am in Charlottesville, Virginia, but next week I'm moving to Austin, Texas. So oh, nice. Crystal and I will be in the same city for the first time in our friendship. And we're like beyond excited <laughs> for nice. all the things. So Austin meetup in the future. Yeah, sweet. Well, Austin is the place to be apparently. Yes. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about your career and um, kind of how you transitioned or ended up as an executive assistant. Yeah. So I've had uh, a lot of jobs. We have moved a lot um, since I graduated from college a long time ago and uh, a lot of jobs doing a lot of different things. It's been a very windy path. Um, I started my career in finance actually, and then uh, moved into nonprofit fundraising. Um, and I really noticed that the key thing I loved with those jobs was setting up others for success. So I loved the operations, the efficiency, the details, really making things happen. Um, and I'd like to be the person on the team that everybody could count on to get stuff done. If there was a problem that needed to be solved, um, if there was, uh, you know, someone's like, I need something done and I can't figure out how they could come to me and they would know that it would happen. Um, so when we were prepping for, I guess our fourth or fifth move in like seven years, um, I knew I had to stop getting new jobs every time we moved, it was getting exhausting. Um, and I wasn't really growing. And so I decided to pivot into the virtual EA space and it has been, like a dream come true. It's been the perfect job for us. We've continued to move a bunch and I've been a full-time uh, freelance EA since then, which has been great. And now that we're moving to Austin, I don't have to quit my job again and I can just take my job with me. Um, and I get to work with the best clients. I love getting to basically handpick um, the people that I work with. Nice. So do you, speaking of handpicking do you find your own clients? I do. Um, and Crystal and I often uh, have conversations about how I could possibly take on more clients because, you know, one client refers to another person who refers to another person. And next thing I know, I have like seven or eight people who want EA support. And I personally can't do all of that. And Crystal has to remind me that it's okay to say no to certain opportunities, which is very helpful to have that person in your life. Um, so it, I've been very lucky. It's been very organic uh, and referral based, which has been great, but it's also allowed me to, the opportunity to say no, if something wasn't a good fit. So just as important as it is to interview for a job, you know, you're also interviewing the people that you're working with. Um, and I've been able to, to navigate that pretty successfully, which feels like a dream. Love it. That's awesome. So, okay. So this is questions for both of you. What's one thing that excites you about the assistant profession? Yeah. Um, okay. I'll take this one. Um, so I've been thinking about this a lot, uh, recently and, you know, time just came out with their most influential people and you see write-ups about amazing startups in, TechCrunch and you see people like Crystal's client who um, runs a podcast and all of those people on those magazine covers and in those New York Times articles generally are supported by um, EAs. Like there's usually someone behind the scenes who is making the big meetings happen, is reminding people to send thank you notes and follow up emails, um, planning the big events, organizing the catering, um, impressing the teams, 
And I think that's really awesome that there are these secret superheroes who are working uh, behind the scenes to get everything done and just make it look really, really effortless. Um, and what a cool role, uh, to have, I think it's extremely unique and in no other company, you know, is there this one person who, um, basically makes all the magic happen? Yes, I agree. I agree. That's why I love, uh, being an assistant. Um, okay. So let's talk about how you guys met and uh start with crystal how did you meet and what made you want to work with alessandra yeah so um we both uh went into actually i went into the virtual ea world a little earlier um and met at the agency that we worked at before um eventually i moved on and alessandra took my role we both were director of client success and we loved mentoring other eas um and just kind of providing that education and leadership for them. Um, and then we both kind of went out off on our own and found each other again. Um, we'd always kind of been friends, but hadn't, you know, talked really like often. And then we just found each other and became best friends again. And um, we we're constantly sharing with each other ideas and resources and things. And we just were like, you know, why, why does, why doesn't this exist? And how about we create it and let's just do this thing for fun together. Um, and it's, it was easy for me because when I first met Alessandra and saw how she was working with her client, I remember actually telling my husband, like, this gal's amazing. Like, I'm going to learn so much from her. And I've been an EA longer. Like, she's just amazing at what she does. Um, it's just, she's, she gets stuff done and she pushes me to be more brave. I am the one who's cautious and like, let's slow down and let's make it perfect. And Alessandra's like, let's just do it. Um, mm -hmm. So it's also really great in what we do because we, before we started, made a list of all of the tasks that we thought we'd need, you know, to happen for Cleverly and which ones we loved and which ones we hated. And there was just a line down the middle. Thank goodness that everything I loved, she didn't, and everything she loved, I didn't. So it worked really well. She's great at sales and networking at all of the partnerships. Um, she likes numbers and I don't. So, you know, it's, it's, it's been a really great partnership and she's, because she's passionate about being an EA, it makes it really easy for us to come together and figure out what we want to send out, um, each week. Um, and also she's just a loyal friend, so it's pretty easy to work with her. Nice. Alessandra, what's one of your favorite parts about working with Crystal? This is like a giant love fest. This is great. <laughs> um, yeah, Crystal, man, she is just really, really, really thoughtful. Like when people talk about being an empath, Crystal like truly is that person. She just really cares about her clients and the people around her. And so I know that if she's going to do something and say yes, she's going all in um, 100%, which has made it really fun and uh, easy to work together because we're both committed to what we're doing and pretty honest about where we're at with it. And as Crystal mentioned, I'm very like, let's just do it. Let's go, go, go. Let's try this. Let's put this out there. Let's see what happens. And Crystal's like, okay, I like it, but let's, let's like, think about this for a second. Let's make it look really good. Let's proofread it. Let's double check, um, which has been helpful because we are really trying to make cleverly something special and create a really curated brand that we feel really proud of. And so, um, having crystals, you know, eye for design and, and the cohesive brand and cohesive picture has, um, just been awesome. I'm not that person crystals, right. I'm, I'm the one who manages like the Excel spreadsheets and, um, the automations and the data. Um, and so it's really helpful to have that design person. I think, doing this alone would, would be impossible, uh, in, in our scenario. Um, and just as Crystal said, on top of that, she's just a really fun and amazing person. I'm going to plug her cooking stories on Instagram that she used to do all the time uh, <laughs> during the pandemic. She has the most soothing voice. So if you ever need to go back and watch her old Instagram stories of her cooking live in her kitchen, uh, it's incredible. Um, and I just love that we get to basically talk every day. Um, and we never run out of things to talk about, which, uh, that's a pretty unique scenario. Hmm. Yeah. sounds like a great, uh, friendship and great partnership. So tell us about 
uh, cleverly. What's the what's the elevator pitch? What is cleverly, and what? How did you come up with that name? Yeah. Um, so the name. Oh my gosh, we had so many possible names, and I think Alessandra just kind of threw this on there, and we both liked it. And then we looked up, you know, what could we get as far as URLs and and usernames, and that worked out really well. Um, and we just felt like every time we thought of the word clever, it was like it's something, you know you hope someone says to you like, oh, that was so clever. And then like, we like foxes, clever fox. It just all kind of fits. So um, <laughs> Cleverly at the moment is a work style brand, basically focused on executive assistants and the general admin world um, because that's our knowledge base and that's what we like to talk about. So we have a weekly newsletter that goes out every Thursday and it has um, helpful links and uh, reviews of tools and apps, um, any new products that we come across. We feature work styles of EAs, including Jeremy's. Thank you so much. Um, we share work music playlists. We have free downloads every month. Um, so the newsletter is just basically all the things we want to share and create jammed into a newsletter and sent out every week. Um, we also share tips and tricks on our social media. We have a small Etsy shop with some downloads and wallpapers and printables that we're adding to. Um, so as far as what it is, it's what we've kind of told each other is we do whatever we want when we want. <laughs> like we make the rules and we just figure out this sounds fun this month. Let's make that and share it. And it's kind of just a, a way for us to share all the things in our brain with people who understand and um, have the same kind of mindset that we do. Awesome. Alessandra, did you want to share like your elevator pitch, your version of it, or did she pretty much, Crystal pretty much take care of it? Yeah, I think, I think Crystal covered a lot of it. Um, nice. Just wanted to have everything that we learned in one place. And also every time someone asks me for like my favorite tool or my favorite, whatever, I can just send them to mm -hmm. Cleverly, which is great. Yeah. Okay. So what's your three-year plan for Cleverly? So Crystal and I were joking about this um, leading up to our conversation today because sometimes we feel like we barely have a one month plan <laughs> <laughs> happening um, because we both uh, work full time as well as EAs. There's uh, for a lot of fringe time for Cleverly, which is both uh, good and can be uh, a little bit stressful. But when we sat down and, and originally planned the ideas that we had, um, we knew we wanted it to be something really big and great. So our main focus for the next you know, year or two is really to grow the newsletter um, and the community. So be providing content that is useful and helpful. It isn't just like being mailed in. Um, and then we have a lot of ideas for the future. We want to continue to grow the Etsy shop and have more things that you can purchase, both downloads and physical products. So things that you know, we've searched for that we haven't been able to find the perfect thing, the perfect planner, the perfect pen, the perfect notepad. Um, maybe we'll get to make that someday. Um, maybe we'll dabble in courses or memberships. Um, but I think the biggest thing is getting feedback from the Cleverly community and from our readers to help shape um, what they need. Because ultimately, we can make a lot of different stuff, but we want to make something that everyone feels like is useful um, versus just something that we think is cool. Hmm. So Crystal, there are a lot of assistant resources out there, assistant, um, you know, maybe email lists or websites or resources. What, what do you think makes Cleverly different? Um, I think there are several things. I mean, it is what we were looking for and couldn't find. And so that is something that's really well curated, something that is up to date and modern in what it recommends and what you know it teaches you about. There's the latest app. It's not, you know, here's the basics of Microsoft again. Um, so it's people who are, you know, movers and shakers are making this. And it's also run and written by EAs. So we're not going to share something that's completely unhelpful to others out there in the same role. Um, so I think it's different in that it's written by EAs for EAs. Um, we are super, super picky and we curate things really well from every link to every tool. Um, it's also 
I must say, beautifully designed. <laughs> so um, you don't find a lot of that out there. Uh, and it's it's just really pleasant to look at, pleasant to read. Um, hopefully it's something positive in your inbox that you can just kind of you know, scroll through and find ideas or find a new playlist or just something that makes you smile. So I think it's for us, it's just, it hasn't been made yet. It hasn't, there hasn't been a, a modern and um, well-designed, really helpful resource out there for the people out there that are like us, executive assistants and admins. Hmm. So you're saying that my emails that are, <laughs> that are uh, text, that are text only, text only emails aren't designed uh, enough for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, may, maybe we should talk later about your design. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, all right. Alessandra, what makes an assistant a leader? Yeah. Um, so 99% of the time, um, you can assume that the EA is making the recommendations that the leadership team is coming up with. So if the leadership team is like, we're having this retreat and we're staying at, you know, X, Y, Z place, it's probably because an EA picked it. Uh, you're probably eating the food that the EA picked. You are probably, uh, looking at a, event brochure that the EA created uh, and executed. Um, and all of those micro decisions, all of the pieces that make something great, whether that's um, a meeting or um, a, a big event or a gala or um, just a, a simple trip, a plane travel, uh, an EA probably got it done. Um, and I think that people often credit you know, the CEOs, the people at the top, the faces with making all the quote unquote hard decisions. Uh, and they probably, you know, make a lot of hard decisions, but the day-to-day -day decisions, those are being led by EAs who are getting their execs to those outcomes. And I mean, I think that's incredible. I, I love sitting in that seat. That's the type of leader that I want to be. I don't need to be on the cover of time. I'd love to be like mentioned at the bottom of the article maybe, but, um, you know, being that behind the scenes person who's leading their executive or their clients to, uh, to the decisions, I think makes, uh, assistants, incredible leaders and, and probably under appreciated maybe if I, if I dare say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well said. Uh, Crystal, I had somebody email me or send me a LinkedIn note the other day, mm -hmm. uh, saying, Hey, I just started as an assistant and, and just, I don't know where to start. W where would you point someone who reaches out to you and says, Hey, I I'm a brand new assistant. What do I do? Okay. This is going to sound really trite, but two things, <laughs> one, subscribe to our newsletter <laughs> and two, read Jeremy's book. Like oh. I am, I am not kidding. I actually wrote a blurb for the front of Jeremy's book because it was so good. There are other books out there, but Jeremy's is just really good at describing why you're doing what you're doing and you know, why you should make the decisions you're making, why you should be thinking how to think ahead. Um, yeah, I think both of those are great resources and hopefully in the future, we'll have some more courses and things for you to take. Awesome. Well, thanks for the shout out. And uh, for those listening, I did not tell her to say that. So I, I <laughs> swear that that was, that was not uh, premeditated. <laughs> I can vouch for that as well. <laughs> awesome. Well, Alessandra and Crystal, thank you so much for yeah sharing a little bit about your story. And uh, thanks for just taking a, um, a risk and starting cleverly and I've enjoyed uh, following you guys uh, since your launch and just, uh, you know, checking out your newsletter every week. And uh, how can people listening find out more and how can they subscribe to your newsletter? Yep. So um, you can just head to our website, which is thecleverly.co. Um, you can also find us on Instagram and Twitter at thecleverlyco. Um, and it's really easy to subscribe around on the website. And we really like giving things away. So when you subscribe, you automatically get wallpapers and printables, um, access to our ultimate guide to the best DA software with discounts. Um, and then, of course, our lovely newsletter every week. Perfect. And I will link to all of those in the show notes. Um, so everybody can find you all quickly and I'll even link to your LinkedIn. So people can connect with you too on LinkedIn. 
Um, but yeah, thanks. Thanks again. And best of luck to you and cleverly. And I always appreciate uh, talking with fellow assistants who are also kind of uh, <laughs> jumping into the whole side hustle world. So yeah. thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Thanks again, Crystal and Alessandra for a great interview. Please tune in to the show notes at leaderassistant.com slash 139 to check out links to connect with Crystal and Alessandra. And we hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. Please review on Apple Podcasts. Gobullos.com